Okay, so as I said, um, conjunction takes two propositions and joins them into a uh, new proposition. So what I've done here is I've rewritten the truth table for P and Q, and then I've written P and Q. Underneath P only, I have reiterated its truth values corresponding to each possible world, and underneath Q I've done the same thing. And so now we want to know what is the truth table for the conjunction of P and Q. That'll tell us what the meaning of the proposition is. We generally take uh, the meaning of these truth conditions um, in some sense. Uh, so, uh, but in any in any case, we do want to know what the truth uh, value is or truth values are for P and Q. And conjunction just means that the whole sentence is true when each of the smaller sentences are true. When P is true and when Q is true. That's when P and Q is true. So it's very easy to read off of the truth table of what is the truth value of P and Q in the first row. In the first row, P is Q and Q is true. So P and Q is true. In the second world, P is Q, but true is false. Well, you don't have P is Q and uh, P is true and Q is true, and so you get false. And likewise, in the next case, P is false, and so you don't get true for the conjunction. And in the last case, both of them are false, so you definitely don't get true in the last case. And so this this single column represents the uh, truth values for the the sentence P and Q because the there's now a new sentence P and Q um, and and so its truth table looks like that true false 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 and uh, so a somewhat interesting fact is that. Uh, because we take conjunction to take two smaller propositions and form a new one by conjoining them, we can then create an arbitrarily large proposition in this way. Like, let's, let's say that uh, rather than just P and Q, you had P, Q, and R. Well, you can take P and Q to be the new proposition formed out of the conjunction of P and Q, and conjoin that with R. And likewise, you can come up with as many arbitrary propositions as you would like, and successively conjoin them, and you get an arbitrarily large uh, conjunction of propositions. And a word on parentheses. Parentheses work exactly the same way in propositional logic, which is what I am uh, presenting here, as they do in mathematics. They tell you the order in which you should evaluate the different uh, uh, propositions or symbols. Um, and it turns out that with conjunction, the order does not matter. Uh, I could have just as well uh, put parentheses around the Q and R. and preserved uh, truth value of the entire expression. Um, so what this means is that uh, conjunction has the associative property, as they say in mathematics. Um, I could write that out, and, and perhaps in the uh, notes for this video I will, but um, I won't spend the time doing it now. Uh, but it is, in fact, associative. With conjunction, when you have only conjunction, you can switch the parentheses around and you preserve uh, the truth value of the expression. Um, so let's now consider uh, mixing conjunction with negation.
So first, let's have a, a very quick review of negation. If I were to negate Q, then let's take a look at what the truth table would be for that. Again, I've just uh, reiterated the truth values for Q that you find in the truth table and put it underneath Q. And now I want to know what are the truth values that go underneath the tilde. Well, the tilde just flips truth values. So wherever you see a T, you write an F. Wherever you see an F, you write a T. So that's the truth table for negated Q. And now we can mix that with the P uh, by, say, conjoining P and not Q. So again, we look for we look for um, the situations in which both the thing on the left and the thing on the right are true simultaneously. And so in the first row, since we're conjoining P and not Q, not Q is a new expression. It's not it, it is the negation of Q. So when we conjoin P and not Q, we don't want to look for the truth values of Q. We want to look for the truth values of not Q and find when that is true and when P is true. Well, in the first case, we have P is true and not Q is false. And so the conjunction of the two is going to be false in that case. And then we look for uh, the next line. We have P is true, not Q is true. So both of them are true. We get true. And then in the next case, it's false, false. And in the next case, it's false, true. So uh, we should look at, well, it's getting a little bit complicated, so how should we read this? Uh, again, where P means it's raining and Q means that the Republican won uh, office, then P and not Q means it's raining outside and the Republican did not win. And so uh, the first line uh, represents the situation where P is true and Q is true. We're still considering this first line to be the situation where, where uh, both P and Q are true, but now this expression P and not Q represents the conjunction of P and the denial of Q. So P and not Q means it's raining and uh, the Republican did not win. Well, when it's when we look at the first row of the truth values for so the first row of the truth table, we see true and true for P and Q. So that means it's true that it's raining outside. It's true that the Republican uh, won. And so when we say it's raining outside and the Republican did not win, then we get false. And that seems intuitive. And then in the next case, we get uh, it's raining outside and uh, the uh, Republican did not win uh, well. Uh, when we look at the second row on the truth table, we see true corresponding to raining, false corresponding to the Republican did not win. And so, as we should expect, true corresponds to uh, the expression that it's raining outside and the Republican did not win. So it all uh, sort of matches up with how we think that logic should work. Um, and uh, so, you know, this is the basic uh, sort of tool of uh, symbolic logic, and you can play with it. You can look up books and find more examples and find more complicated things. Um, but this is really the kernel of it. And so um, it's probably best, I think, to start talking about uh, concepts of uh, consistency and contradiction, so that'll be nice.